Here we go, round one of this contest between boxer of the red corner, Oli Sham, representing Southway Police Boxing Academy, and boxer of the blue corner, representing All Saints Amateur Boxing Club, Corey Griffiths. A fast start to this contest. We've had a very fiery start this contest. Both men meeting each other in the middle. It's a little bit crude, and you can tell neither of these two boxers have a massive amount of experience, but it's very exciting for the fans here in the Hereford Sixth Farm College. The commentators, myself, Kieran Gibbons, and the Commonwealth gold medal winner, Delicious Ori. Great overhand right there from Shum. Shum is really loading up on these big shots. That's a good shot by Shum, but he walked into the right hand from Griffiths. I'll just give it a warning for the head. A good left right from Shum again. Great over left hook there from Shum. Oh, and he's getting caught. This eye is catches. really good from Shum. We see some eye catches. Corey Griffiths looks a little bit open. He almost froze as those shots landed. I think if Shum just was a little bit more patient, he could land the telling blows here. The pace slowing down now a little bit from a fiery start. I think both boxers are now taking the time a little bit, being a little bit more patient. Griffiths looking for some backhands to the body there, trying to soften his man up. The work rate from Griffiths has notably dropped from the first minute or so of the, of the contest. Both boxers are really frantic in the opening minute, but it's Shum who has taken over as the contest has gone on, or as the round went on, I think. I said that was a great first round. Both, both boxers wanted it just as bad as each other. I don't know, I think uh, Shum just landed a little bit, little bit better eye catches there for me. I've seen a good few shots land clean. I can't really argue with that, can you? Just looking at Corey Griffiths in the corner here. He's really breathing very heavily. His coach, Heath Johnson, known as Swede to the people in the Welsh boxing fraternity. He's giving advice to his man, trying to calm him down. This is only his second contest. So into the second round. Oli Shum, for my money at least, seemed to be taken over towards the end of the first. But yeah. oh, that's a lovely right hand from Corey Griffiths. And the referee gives a count as a really good shot. Griffiths come out, comes out firing. He knows, I believe he knows he's down from the first round. This is going to be a real test of character for Oli Shum now. The man in the red needs to hold his own. Keep his hands up. And doesn't oh, and he's getting caught up. again by big shots. And he's going for the finish here now, Corey Griffiths from Caffilly in South Wales. The man in the red needs to keep his hands up. Otherwise, he put himself in a very dangerous position. He needs to keep his hands up or grab hold or just move. Griffiths now coming in, swinging him in now, short range. There's that right hand again from Griffiths. Griffiths starting to slow down now. He's put a lot into trying to finish off Shum. Interesting that even though Shum is the boxer who's had the standing count, he doesn't seem to be breathing very heavily. He seems very, although he took another two shots yeah, yeah. there. Wild swing there from man in the red. Both men just digging it out now. 
A right hand just got through the guard of Oli Shum again. There's a body shot from Griffiths. Wow, that was a really Great good round. round. Great second round. From Corey Griffiths. I bet Oli Shum was glad to hear the bell for the end of that second round. His coach Paul Catton in the corner. What type of things do you think he's telling him, uh, Delicious? I think he's just telling him to stay calm. Stick to the game plan. Keep them hands up. Very important. Paul Catton of the Southwide Police Boxing Academy, an excellent coach, former amateur boxer himself, and a good singer as well, apparently, so I've been told. By Paul himself, of course. <laughs> of course. No, I approve. And what a good second round that was from Corey Griffiths. We think he probably lost the first round, but he comes storming back in that second round. But how much energy did he use to try and finish off Shum? We'll find out in this last round. This fight could all come down to who wins this final round. Huge shot by Griffiths sails Great over roll. Shum's head. Just about managed to duck out of that one. Great left hook there from Shum. More of that from Shum we need. fighters are giving it absolutely everything they've got now they know they've got under two minutes to prove themselves to these judges here tonight three judges around the ring scoring the contest should it go the distance it's going to be interesting to see how they score this Griffiths now seems to have had a second wind he's pushing Shum back a little bit of blood around the face of Shum coming from the nose I think Both men showing strength, resilience, they both won it. Nice right hand from Griffiths again. Great contest this so far. Yeah, both these boxers are giving everything to this. Trying to entertain these fans here in the Hereford Sixth Farm College. Oli Shum, 25 from Kent, pushing, showing Griffiths that he's still in the game, despite the count in the second round. I mean, who do you think's winning this third and final round, Delicious? I mean, it's really, really close, I think. It is very close, very good matchup. That's a good jab from Griffiths and a right hand. A few eye catches there again. And there's the final bell, and it's going to go to the three judges, and I'm going to put you on the spot, you're delicious, that's what you're here for, the expert. <laughs> um, and who do you think won that contest? Very, very close. I mean, Oli Shum had the first round, in my opinion. I feel, I feel like he, he really put it on Griffiths. However, second round, the tables turned. Oli Shum did very well to uh, hold his own. So it really is very close 50-50 here. Um, <laughs> I think it, was, it came down to the, to the third round. I think I, I'm going to stick my neck out to then, and I, I think Corey Griffiths just did enough in that yeah. probably the third round to win it. But I, I think know, it was I, I, all in the third round, and I think, I think he just about managed to um, impress the judges there a little bit more. But we'll find out in a few seconds. So there you have it, Corey Griffiths gets the win. Yeah, well done, Corey Griffiths. Commiserations to Ollie Shum. Ollie played a, a really big part in what was an excellent contest. I'm sure all these fans here would uh, would happily watch that again. Both boxers boxed great, and I'm sure both boxers will have learned something about themselves, and they'll both learn and improve based on that contest. Yeah, agreed.